Hey natural babes, welcome back to my channel, Naturally Kills. If you're new here, thanks for joining. If you're returning, thanks for supporting and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to like, comment and share this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. This is what my hair looks like. It's early in the morning and I'm like, you know what? My hair can't look like this. Like, I need to do something with my hair that can last me at least a couple days to a week. And I know this is gonna be a busy week, so I'm like, all right, let me just get this done. The sun is about to come up. I'm gonna pull these out and come back. I'm gonna just wear it so. So for this style, you want to put your hair into sections. So I'm gonna start by just parting off the part that I want to corner on. I like to pull the hair back to visualize what the ponytail is gonna look like and then I'm gonna go ahead and tuck it away so I can work on my flat twist first. Now for the front section, I will further divide into two equal parts using my rat tail comb and to get a more even part, I align the tail of the comb with the center of my nose. This helps me to get a pretty good idea of where I want the center part to start or where to start the center part whatever section I'm not using I'm tucking that away as well and detangling further so now I'm just gonna work on one side at a time and let's 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 start parting for the flat twist I'm doing four on each side I use the wet line extreme gel to help slick the hair down and make it neat I went in with some shine and jam gel because the wet line wasn't giving me the hole that I wanted now this is the front section of my hair and it's thinner you know it's a little thinner um, at the front so I'm trying to just make sure I get a good grip on the hair and tuck everything in to get as neat a flat twist as I can And I'm just going to twist this all the way through and I like to twist it out a little. I don't like to just stop abruptly there. I like to twist it out a little and then go in with my elastic band. And I, you know, pull this over a few times. I don't like to go too many times to make it too tight. And then I just pull the hair to make it taut, but not too tight. And I'm just going to do the rest of this side of my hair doing the same thing for all four flat twists all right so once I'm done with this side I'm going to go to the other side and I'm doing the exact same thing you'll notice here I'm kind of just trying to line up to make sure that both sides are equal this helps me to measure you know like that the sizing is right or that I have equal parts and I'm just adding my wet line and my shine and jam and taking my time with my flat twists. If you want me to do a more detailed video on how to do flat twists, do let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to create a video for that. Okay, so now we're going to work on the back. I did detangle before, but, but my hair tangles easily. So some people like to moisturize their hair with multiple products before doing a ponytail. I find that that doesn't work for me. So here I've wet my hands with water and I'm using that to kind of make the hair more manageable. Even though I've already detangled the hair, I like to add a little water on the ends too. And then, you know, just kind of start brushing everything together. And I did pull it together, put it in a scrunchie just to keep it secure so now I am going to go in with my scrunchie that's what I'm showing you 
and I'm just going to pull everything together I'm not doing it tight or anything just regular so at this point I'm going in with the wet line on the perimeter of my hair I didn't notice any flakes from either of the products the 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 shine and jam or the wet line gel and you can see me here kind of just working my hands through and just just fine-tuning making sure that everything is slick down and going in with extra gel and jam wherever I need it once I feel like it's secure and I've brushed and brushed and brushed I'm going to go in and pull everything together with a scrunchie For my edges now, I'm doing my edges. I'm using the got to be glue to do my edges. Y'all, look at me doing soup, 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 soup. Me wanna know how to not name soup. I am not a baby here girl, but I decided to do it. And this is me kind of just tying them down and I left it for a little while as I was getting ready to go on the road. All right, so this will make sure that my edges are secure a few moments later Ooh, look at my edges okay that's so tight i didn't make this oh my god i did it so tight there's a mark in my forehead but we soon fix that here i'm just fluffing using my comb to kind of just pick at the puff that I have at the back just to you know make it look a little bit more bouncy and if if you want to wear your hair out just like that you can but here again I decided to go in and plait everything down so I could add the uh, homemade ponytail or homemade hair extension and this is me adding the hair this is a homemade puff that I made using Marley hair I cannot find the exact brand of hair that I used I believe it is Ghana twist but I really it was so long ago you can see how matted it is I can't find the exact hair but as long as you find something that has a more coarse looking texture you should be fine if I can find the hair, I will link it down below in the description box. All the other products that I used will be linked in the description box as well. Now I'm just taking two pieces or two sections of the hair, one on either side, and I'm going to wrap that around the base of my ponytail. And that will help to keep the ponytail secure. You don't want to be wearing your ponytail and it feels floppy. And I'm just adding a little bit of the got to be gel and sticking that on the end of the section of hair that I'm wrapping around to help keep it secure the same way you would do if you were doing a ponytail and I also went in with bobby pins so make sure that you go in with bobby pins you can do the top the bottom and the sides just to make sure that you know like it looks good like there's nothing sticking out you're not seeing the little ponytail underneath and i loved how this turned out so this is just a comparison of with and without the extension do you prefer this style with or without the extension comment below and let me know what you think don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you found this video of value go ahead and hit the like button as well share it with somebody another naturalista or anybody interested in this kind of content thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye natural babes